All right, Pro Tablet versus the new Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra versus Apple M2 iPad Pro. Which is better? Let's go over the raw stats. First, externals. The Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra is Samsung's massive tablet that was just announced, starting at a price of $1,200. While the M2 iPad Pro is Apple's flagship tablet, which was released last year, starting at a price of $800 for the small version and $1,100 for the larger one, with both having accessories that are oftentimes used together. With the Samsung tablet, actually coming with its stylus in the box, so point for Sammy there. Let's keep going. For the form factors, the Tab S9 Ultra is huge, with a 14.6 inch display that has a multitude of features, including dynamic AMOLED 2X with a very high refresh rate and, this is the best part, IP68 water and dust resistance. Meaning yes, this whole 14.6 inch monster can survive the rain. For the iPad Pro on the other hand, we have two sizes, the 11 inch and 12.9 inch, with both having 120 hertz refresh rates and the larger version having mini LED and very high peak brightness, but no water or dust resistance rating as of this generation. Next for connectivity, we've got pretty much the exact same situation besides one difference. Starting off, both tablets use USB-C for charging, with the Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra also having a micro SD card slot for expandable storage, so that's a little better. Additionally, both can attach their styluses to their bodies using magnets, which is pretty helpful. But all in all, a little sparse in this section. Now, on the other hand, for cameras, both devices bring their A-game. For the Tab S9 Ultra, we have two sensors at the front and two at the rear, while the iPad Pro has one at the front and three at the rear, with the Galaxy Tab only using wide and ultra-wide sensors, while while the iPad Pro has an additional LiDAR scanner. So both are really good, and kinda tough to judge, because they have the same number of cameras, just in different locations and different flavors. So I'd say this is a tie, but that really depends on what you're looking for, which we'll discuss more in my verdict. So for the externals, the Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra gets points for the included S Pen, IP68 rating, size, and micro SD, while the iPad Pro has higher peak brightness and is a bit more economical. Now let's move on to the internals. For the internal the Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra sports the new Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, which is an overall improvement over the last generation and should perform well for all of your tasks. Meanwhile though, the iPad Pro comes in with the heat with the M2 chip. That's because it's a laptop processor put into a tablet, which will always perform well. And here are the single core performance benchmarks of these device configurations, and here are the multi-core. As you can tell, the iPad Pro is a bit faster, but the Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra is still really good, just not as really relatively fast as the iPad. And for storage, the Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra starts with 256 gigabytes. That's also expandable with the SD card, while the iPad Pro starts with 128. Which yeah, both are not great in this regard, but the Tab S9 Ultra does take the cake for this section. Both need to start with more in the future though. And for battery lives, both are pretty solid. The Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra doesn't have much information on it yet, but going off of the previous generation and initial test, it looks like it should be good for at least 8-10 to 10 hours on a typical day, which is great. And that is consistent with the iPad Pros as well. Now the iPad does have a little variability between sizes, with the 11 inch version doing a little better typically. But overall, they do about the same. 8 to 10 hours on average. Not bad at all. And both devices have security software, with the Tab S9 Ultra having a nice under the display fingerprint sensor, and the iPad Pro rocking Face ID that's super speedy. And finally, for the operating systems, the iPad Pro uses iPad OS, while the Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra runs Android. So two mobile operating systems that have their own quirks, like the Samsung tablet having DeX, which we'll delve into a little bit momentarily. But in summary, the iPad Pro is faster, while the Tab S9 Ultra has a bit more storage. Now let's get on to the verdict. So now that we've compared the specs of both devices, which is the best tablet for you? Well, as I alluded to with the operating systems, that depends and it mostly depends on you. Getting things out of the way first, the Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra is the newer of the two, so if you want new, get that. The iPad Pros might receive a refresh coming soon, but not at this very moment. But thinking long term here, you want to tailor your devices toward you, your needs, and your current ecosystem. Meaning if you have Apple devices, you should probably continue to stick with Apple. And the same applies with Android, because that allows for greater compatibility and flexibility with your current ecosystem. But of course, there's always a bit more to that, because these tablets can be functionally a little different. Firstly, the size. The Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra is far larger, and that can be a little difficult for transportation, but it can also allow you to be able to do more things, like draw with a larger canvas. Second, the performance. The M2 iPad Pro is far more future-proof, at least at this very moment, and it can run literally any program you throw at it. 
given it's compatible. So these two have their strengths and weaknesses. And there are also additional features like Samsung DeX, the feature that turns the tablet into a sort of computer. So you essentially transform the device into a two-in-one and make it more of a workstation with much better multitasking. The iPad Pro is something similar with it being able to be used with the Magic Keyboard and mouse. They have some pretty okay multitasking too but it's nothing out of the ordinary for iPad OS. So there are a few differences with these tablets that will guide who I recommend each for. So here's my actual verdict. If you have mostly Android or Samsung devices and prefer that ecosystem, are okay with and or need a massive screen and don't use AR tech or need a LiDAR scanner, get the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra. But if you have mostly Apple products, need the highest performing tablet available and or need to use the LiDAR scanner, get the Apple M2 iPad Pro. Frankly speaking, both devices are probably enough for most individuals out there and will probably satisfy most, if not all of your needs. So overall, it really just comes down to personal preference. And of course, your needs. Make sure to always focus on your needs. And that was my comparison of the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra versus Apple M2 iPad Pro. I hope this video helped and I hope to see you again soon. My name is Cyrus. It's about like Cyrus, but not like Siri Rooster. Just take out the tear. Thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful day. Peace.